two quick view. We're going to be talking about boot animation, how to install one, how to make one. Uh, the boot animation basically runs through a thing called fake aim. And uh, I'm not going to show you how to install that, but I'm going to show you how to change the actual boot animation in it. If you bought a console from me, and you bought an HD, it's already installed. I'm going to show you how to get to there and how to do it. So let's Basically, I'm already got a boot animation made here on my desktop. I'm going to show you how to install that. We're going to launch FileZilla, which you've seen me use in previous videos. And uh, I showed you how to install it on some of the previous videos. Uh, the boot animation for the fake game is going to be located in the plugins folder. That's if you bought a console from me and uh, if you bought an HD. But if you have your soap someplace else, it's fine. Then we're going to the fake aim folder, jukebox, and there's the movie right there. So we're going to delete that. And then we're going to grab the other one, the one we want to put in. And we're going to drag that in here. Go back to the top, transfer, process quick. And the new boot animation has been installed. That easy, it's real quick, it's not a major issue, man. Just get it in there. If you only have one movie in there at a time, don't try putting more than one in there, it'll mess it up. So we're done with putting it in the Xbox. And basically, you restart your Xbox, it's going to have that new movie you made. Now here's the deal about the movie, about making the movie. You can use any piece of video you want. Basically, you can grab a piece of a Spider-Man movie, a... Uh, um, something you pull off YouTube, whatever, you know, a video of two monkeys humping a football, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Just grab a piece of video. And after you get it doctored up to what you want to do or say or however, you have to run it through this thing called Windows Media Encoder. Which you can download Windows Media Encoder. So you'll launch Windows Media Encoder here. You're going to check Convert a File. You're then going to browse to where the movie is you want to convert. And then you're going to browse to the output of where you want to put it at. Basically, it's going to encode the video so that the Xbox will see it so it can play it. If you don't encode the video, it ain't going to work. You know, not a major problem, not a major issue here. Just make your video, then encode it. You can make a video of your ass if you want. It doesn't really matter. Just run it through the encoder when you're done. Make it about 13 seconds you know, or so, and call it good. But that's basically all you got to do. So it's Windows Media Encoder you need. I showed you how to get to it and change it. And that's about it.